23rd January 2024, the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose, 127th birth anniversary. And back in 2021, the government of India decided that his birth anniversary shall now be celebrated as Prakram Divas, the day of courage, and very rightly so. He is the one who established Azad Hind Fauj, the Indian National Army. He is the one who established the provisional government of free India in exile, RZ hakumat e hind with headquarter at Andaman Nicobar Islands, which he himself renamed or rechristened as Shaheed and Savraj Island. Now, if we look into his personality, there are so many lessons that we can learn. He is the one who qualified for ICS exam in 1920. 1919-1920 scored all India rank 4 and then he went to London for his training but when he came to know about Mahatma Gandhi ji launching his non-cooperation movement 1920 he decided to resign and came back to serve his country his motherland then he is the one who was the leader of the youth of Congress he is the one who was talking about so many changes he is the one who got the position of mayor during the British rule. He is the one who then established the idea of socialism within Congress along with Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. He is the one who was then becoming the president of Congress in 1938-39 established the National Planning Committee within the Congress. He is the one who was then invited by Rash Bihari boss to take over the command of Indian National Army and if you see at his contributions there is no end. While we prepare for UPSC exam civil services particularly we need to know many things about him. Most of the books do talk about his contribution in the freedom struggle but one dimension that is not adequately covered but which at the same time is adequately relevant is the commissions that were appointed to investigate the death of Subhash Chandra Bose because it is one of the most controversial things. Many a times you come across the theories that he did not die in that air crash, that tragic unfortunate air crash in the skies of Formosa, present day Taiwan back in 1945 and you may have heard about that Gumnami Baba and many other such like theories or conspiracies right but today we will be talking about the important commissions that have been appointed to look into the death of our Netaji Subhash Chandra boss. Before I start talking about those commissions and their key findings let me give you a news that from this year onwards Raj Malhotra IES Chandigarh is starting its offline centers in Delhi Old Jinder Nagar as well as at Bhavarkuva Chonk in Indore and we are coming up with free NCRT course for everyone so that you can first have a first hand experience of our teaching, our content, our delivery, our commitment to your success. Once you taste everything first hand only then you decide that whether Raj IES is the place where you should be or you should not be. Now let us have a look at these important commissions. The first in the series is Shah Nawaz Commission in 1956 and the key findings is it confirmed the death of Subhash Chandra boss in a plane crash in Tapai on 18th August 1945. It interviewed many of the witnesses, survivors and medical personnel involved in the crash and report acknowledged some inconsistencies but concluded lack of evidence for conspiracy theories, right. This was the first. Then. In 1970, Khosla Commission was appointed and its key finding says that it re-examined the evidence from Shah Nawaz Commission and interviewed new witnesses. Report criticized the Indian government for lack of thorough investigation and raised doubts about the crash and suggested further probe into conflicted testimonies. Now from here the controversy started becoming more intense. Then. Mukherjee Commission was appointed in 1999 which continued the investigations to up to 2005. 
its key findings are it is like one of the most comprehensive investigation spanning 6 years and visiting several countries. It interviewed over 130 witnesses and analyzed numerous documents. It concluded that Subhash Chandra Bose died in the plane crash as initially reported. However, it also acknowledged the ambiguities and unanswered questions recommended declassification of sensitive files so that more and more inputs can be gathered to conclude it more certain with more certainty that what exactly happened with our Netaji. Then in 2019 Justice Chandra Chud committee was appointed. The key findings it it was appointed to review files declassified by the Mukherjee commission. Report released in 2020 revealed intelligence intercepts suggesting Japanese attempts to conceal the death of Subhash Chandra Bose. However, it did not conclusively confirm any conspiracy but acknowledged the need for further research. Now finally, Justice Mukherjee Commission of Inquiry 2020 which is still continuing with its investigations. Now established in 2020 to follow up on Justice Chandrachur Committee's recommendations. The Mukherjee Commission is investigating the declassified files and seeking new evidence regarding the death of Subhash Chandra Bose. The final report and findings are yet to be released. So, it still remains a kind of conspiracy or a kind of controversy that how did we lose our dear Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. So, while you prepare for this exam, you take care of all the dimensions be it Indian National Congress and Subhash Chandra Bose being its president or a member, his participation in non-cooperation movement or civil disobedience movement or the Quit India movement or you talk about his socialist ideas or the ideas about bringing the global leadership into India's freedom struggle during World War II. Do remember that this is another important aspect that you must know about. At Raj IES, we always strive to give you the best with the commitment that your success is our success. Best of luck.